Hi everybody and welcome back to another Meals of the Week video. Um, so for today's meal I've got a chilli con carne with jacket potato. I've just got my chilli cooking there. It's just got like tomatoes, uh, chilli powder, paprika, onion, um, some chopped tomatoes and some mints and I add a little bit of herbs as well. I don't tend to add kidney beans to our chilli because we don't like them personally but I just did these with some jacket potatoes that I'd roasted in the oven. I tend to put them in the oven for about 50 minutes and that's more than enough time as long as they're like medium sized ones. But yeah I just served them with some butter. Unfortunately I was out of cheese. I usually top them with cheese but yeah I was completely out. But they were really really nice and my partner completely loved these as well i didn't realize i thought he didn't eat the skin on the jacket potatoes but yeah let me know if you do because we we both do it's like my favorite part of the meal um i've been watching spudman a lot on tiktok the last week and so the, you might see a couple of jacket potato meals in this video because <laughs> i i get a little a bit obsessed with uh jacket potatoes sometimes when i'm watching him but yeah, that's our first meal of the week. So next up for our meal, I made the sweet chili chicken wraps. I just kind of fancy these. I used to work at McDonald's. I was trying to replicate their sweet chili wraps because I know what goes in them, obviously. We did have two of these each, but I kind of accidentally ate one before <laughs> I realised I was supposed to take a picture. But yeah, I basically, they're just... Uh, plain wraps with mayonnaise and sweet chilli sauce with lettuce. Uh, McDonald's ones does have cucumber in it but I don't like cucumber in my sandwiches and that. So I just made these with chicken strips and I did some streaky bacon on top as well. And I'm absolutely obsessed with streaky bacon lately as such a nice flavour. I didn't personally like these chicken strips. These were the XL ones from Iceland which I didn't really like. They were a bit tough. I have had nicer ones from Iceland, I think it's the Henry, no, the Harry Ramsam ones, but I couldn't find them. I don't know if they've stopped doing them. So I'm still on the lookout for some nicer chicken strips. But yeah, I, I made some wraps for us for dinner tonight. So I brought a Gusta box and a Green Chef, so you'll see a couple of recipes in this video for that as well. Um, so for tonight's dinner, I'm making the halloumi donna with sweet chilli sauce and smoky fries i just took a picture here in case you wanted to make it um so you can just obviously freeze the screen and write down the ingredients i so i made those up and i served those with some um like chips wedges you cook with like i think it's rosemary seasoning but they were like flat naan breads with uh lettuce and onion and uh halloumi and coriander topped with like sweet chili sauce they were actually really nice. The only thing is I would have preferred to just put all of that ingredients inside the actual pita bread rather than eat it on top. So if I was to follow this recipe again, I'd probably do it that way just for personal preference. I found them a bit hard to eat this way. But yeah, I think they would have been really nice if I'd like toasted the pita bread. But yeah, that's what we made for dinner tonight. So for the next night I'm making the sausage and mozzarella pesto ciabatta with chips. These were really nice. I would definitely recommend making these. Um, you basically layer the ciabatta rolls over with sun-dried tomato and you make like a sausage pate with melted mozzarella and rock it on with balsamic vinegar in and these were really tasty. Um, again, you just serve them with some homemade chips with some herb seasoning on and then the side salad is literally just rocket and balsamic vinegar all mixed up together. But yeah, I just made us one of those each. Again, really tasty meal. And yeah, that's basically what we had for tonight's dinner. So next up again, we had another jacket potato for tonight. Like I said, I was a little obsessed with jacket potatoes this week. Uh, this time I made... Um, mince and onion with just like gravy. I did this in the slow cooker and that was literally all it was, was just some beef mince, some chopped onion. I put a beef stock in there and some gravy and I just put that in the low, in the slow cooker for on a low for about eight hours. 
because uh, I was on the late shift this week and I finally managed to buy some cheese. <laughs> so yeah, I just topped that up with um, some different cheeses on top with our crispy jacket potatoes. And yeah, this was a lot delicious and I would definitely recommend making this. Tonight I thought I'd bring you along with this one. Um, apologies in advance if my voice doesn't sound great I keep needing to cough still still a bit ill but yeah I've still got a few to go quite a few to go through and um, so I'm going to make this one tonight just because the mushrooms will all start to go off otherwise this hearty mushroom basil and lentil ragout and hopefully I can bring you along with most of it I'm just going to pre-chop all my veg and get everything out and ready um before I start cooking yeah that's essentially everything i needed um i just took it out of the bag i've pre-chopped my onion and i actually asked for shredded mushrooms so i just shredded it with my cheese grater which was a really weird experience um i then just did some chips in the oven on the side uh, so i decided to do some chips alongside that recipe I'm just feeling quite hungry tonight and I don't want to end up snacking later so um, these are just some potatoes I brought from Asda and then I've just put sprayed um, this olive oil on with some salt, pepper and some paprika seasoning and I just popped those in the oven for about 30 minutes. So I'm just starting cooking off the ganache bake here um, I'm just doing it in a casserole pan so I can just put this pan straight in the oven just sprayed it with a little bit of my spray olive oil there and then I'm just going to add in my diced onion like so and then once they've been added in I just added in a bay leaf like you instructed and I'm just letting those fry off for a minute or so and then once they have been frying I've just added in the shredded mushrooms and then you just want to mix that together and let that cook for about four to five minutes. Then once that's been added in, I've just then added the dried oregano into my vegetables and gave that a bit of a stir. And then it said to add the finely chopped tomatoes. This might be a bit of a mess. I, I didn't have any scissors and it kind of went a bit everywhere. So yeah, I added that into the saucepan and then gave that a good mix i've then added in the green lentils as per the instructions it then said to add a, around 100 milliliters of vegetable stock so i've just added that in there and then just gave that a good mixture it kind of reminds me of slightly like a vegetarian bolognese sauce. So yeah, I've just let that cook for a few minutes. Um, I've got my ganache cooking in the top corner over there. You have to boil that for about three minutes or so. Um, and then once that's done, we're going to add it into the saucepan. So yeah, I just added in my spinach that i've just washed and drained and that should start to shrivel down and thicken and then i've just added in some chopped i think it was coriander as well that gets chopped up and put in there as well and then it should start to cook so once that had all combined together i then ended it added in the um ganache and just gave that a good m mixture in there like so and then we're just going to pop the lid on and then just put it in the oven for about 30 or so minutes and yeah that was the ganache bake when i took it out of the oven and it's quite nice and thick and then i just served it on a plate with some of those homemade chips that i made um i did like it i wasn't like a huge fan of it it kind of like that slightly little flavour to me. I guess I just prefer meatier dishes. But my partner, he really liked this dish. But yeah, that's what we had for our dinner tonight. 
So for our next night, my partner didn't fancy um, eating. Sometimes on late shifts, he'll just end up not eating that much. Um, so yeah, tonight I just made myself an omelette because I was just cooking for just me. I just made a cheese omelette with just some ham and I put a little bit of herb on there. Um, this is about the time when I start to run out of stuff in the fridge and, and I need to go shopping <laughs> when I can't put much on my omelette. But yeah, that's just what I had for dinner tonight. So I thought I'd take you along and show you the, um, this is the Gusto Chicken Rogan Gosh Curry, Rogan Josh Curry, <laughs> um, that I'm making for dinner tonight. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just a one pot chicken dish with yogurt in there, um, served with some naan bread. I'm serving mine with some uh, egg fried rice as well that I'm just making separately, just because as you'll see the, the curry wasn't that big of a portion. But yeah, this is supposed to serve two people. It kind of felt more like one. <laughs> but this was actually one of the nicest things I've ever tasted. Um, I really, really love this. And I will definitely 100% make it again. So I wanted to show you how to make it. Um, you just chop some onions and tomato into wedge sliced pieces. And you start to fry them off. And I've just added in some garlic at this point. And that's basically making our base for our sauce. Next up, we just add our pinch of ground turmeric. Um, I've got this at home, so I can 100% make this again. And we just stir that into our pot, as well as our dried chili flakes. If you don't like things too spicy, I would probably add half of what I'm adding in now. Uh, I would. It was a good level of spice for me. I don't like spicy food either, so it, it was okay for me. And then I just added the ground coriander but it does still have a little bit of a kick to it as well so yeah we just add in all our herb seasonings in our pot so after that has been mixed together and frying up for a few minutes um it then said to add about 50 milliliters of chicken stock um which i've just done here and just let that sizzle away and then we add in um some chopped tomatoes that i got absolutely everywhere again i really need to go out and buy those scissors so yeah i'll just put the chopped tomatoes inside our curry pot uh, then once that's mixed together we're then going to add in our chicken breasts like so and you just give that a good mix And yeah, you just literally whack the lid on straight away and you pop that in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes and the chicken breast will cook inside the curry. Yeah, I'm just preparing my naan breads and my rice at this point. So I've got some butter, um, parsley and some garlic in a cup and I just pop that in the microwave for about 20 seconds or so. Um, I just wanted to do a little bit of uh, a topping on these plain nans because I'm not really a fan of plain nans by themselves. But yeah, I just realised that that recipe said with yogurt, and at no point did I add yogurt in, so I'm I'm not sure what I've missed. <laughs> Clearly, I've missed something in the recipe. I'll have to double check that. But yeah, once that's all made up, I'm just spreading the seasoning across my naan breads, and then I'll just put those in the oven once my rice is done for about four to five minutes when cooked. So yeah, I'm just making my egg fried rice. I'm just using some. Uh, rice that I cooked early in the day and I let it cool down because cold rice is better to cook it with yeah don't hate me unfortunately I don't have a wok so I can't do this properly at all I'm having to do it in a frying pan um, and I just added two egg yolks mixed that I've just beaten there and I've just added those in the middle of the pan and then I add some sesame oil just on top of my rice so it doesn't dry up so much but yeah, I can't like flip this properly. <laughs> and I um, I have yet to buy a wok. I used to have one, but it kind of got a bit ruined. So I'm just doing the best I can at the minute. But yeah, I just literally just fry my egg in the middle of the pan. Just until it starts to cook. And then I just, I literally just mix it all in with the rice. 
So yeah, that's my egg all mixed with my rice and then I've just added some light soy sauce and some dark soy sauce just to kind of add that dark colouring and then yeah, I'm just trying to try <laughs> my best here just to try and mix it all together. Yeah, that's my naan bread all done, just come out of the oven like so um, and then I'm just going to take my curry out the oven so that's what it looked like when it first came out of the oven I then thought it was just a little bit dried so I added about um 50 millilitres more of water just in there just to make it into a curry but yeah that is our curry um all served up as you can see the curry portion wasn't that big so I'm kind of glad I did it with some rice as well because otherwise it would have just been that and the naan breads but yeah again it was so so nice one of my favorite meals i'm guessing i was supposed to add the yogurt to cool it down a little bit so you can do that obviously if needed i'll, I'll have to double check that one but yeah that's what we had for our dinner today then for our next night i was meant to cook a gusto recipe but i was just really tired and lethargic to stay um, so I made some, I just grabbed a pie out of the freezer. This is a cheese and leek pocket pie. And I just did this with some microwave minted potatoes. And I did some broccoli on the side with some gravy. Uh, my partner wasn't in the mood again for a meal tonight. So I just made him this ramen. It's just a spicy Nissan ramen packet from the cupboard. So yeah, that's what we had for dinner tonight. Again, we just had another quick dinner tonight we ended up being a bit lazy towards the end of the week and I hadn't done the pots yet I had no room to cook so I just grabbed these out of the freezer um so this was a Detroit pizza from Aldi on the left there and that was a mac and cheese pizza on the right again from Aldi and then I just served that with a small garlic bread um it was okay not my favorite pizza in the world so yeah, that was our meals. I don't know if I'd buy them again, but they were nice to try just the once. So they're the ones from Aldi and then I just chopped those up in two pieces onto a plate, which I forgot to take a picture of. Um, but yeah, that's everything we had for this week. So thank you so much for joining my Meals of the Week video. And I shall speak to you again very soon. Bye.